Hi guys, it's Emily and today I thought I would show you how to use pre-made overlays on Sony Vegas. I want to do this because someone actually asked me how to do it and I didn't have a clue because I never use Sony Vegas because I am just don't know how to use it but I learnt myself within around, taught myself even, um, around 10 minutes in and I was pretty proud of myself. But yes, before I start I want to just tell you why my channel looks a mess. Basically, I got a copyright strike and I could not like use thumbnails for any of these videos. But I finally got rid of it this, no, last month. And um, so I decided I would start using thumbnails. But I now look at them and I'm just like, I don't like them. So I went with this kind. But I'm like, mm, I don't know if I like them. So I'm just going to wait until I have a few weeks off and then sorry everyone's like message me <laughs> um until i have a few weeks off and i don't have to revise for anything and then i can edit everything so yes but to start this video off um i'm just going to show you where to find my pre-made overlays which is right at the bottom because it was a very early video i did and i've already shown you how to use pre-made overlays but that was on wondershare i think and video star maybe but i want to show you how to do it on sony vegas like i said so yeah that was over it. Yeah, yeah. I was really confused. I confused myself there. <laughs> Basically, here it is. You just got a copy video URL. Then you can type in clipconverter.cc. As you can see, I've already downloaded it. Everything will happen like that. Easy peasy. Basically, what you want to do now is go to Sony Vegas. I'm just recording my voice with that. Here. <laughs> I will find a video for you on how to download it for free because I downloaded it for free because I ain't paying the amount of money it asked for. Basically here is Sony, no not Sony Vegas, the pre-made overlays. I'm just going to make this smaller by clicking this button and selecting which one I want. This one will do. I want more of a lot of colours so you can sort of see how many colours you can use because I'm pretty sure there's no limit to it so which is brilliant uh, by the way sorry if the microphone's bad I'm using a webcam again I will one day buy myself a camera like a microphone even I've got a camera why would I do that but yes basically there we go so I just need this which is the overlay and then you want something behind it so I've downloaded a uh, behind the scenes is here. I'm guessing that's what they're called. I might be wrong. I'm not a huge fan of them. I don't listen to their music, so I can't tell you. So sorry if that is wrong. But yes. Um, I don't know what these are. I have way too many things on here and I don't know what half of them are. Which I don't think is good. Ah, day in the life of Dan and Phil. There we go. Basically what you want to do as you can see if I make this bigger I have put the Dan and Phil video there and the overlay up here so you can do that you then want to split this delete it because you don't need any of that and I'm going to delete the track because I don't want the audio track in I want the song off the video so delete track here's what you can see now basically what you want to do is click on this little event effects thing here and click on Sony Chroma here and press add and then OK. You can now see that this has popped up and you simply, I'm gonna just going to move it over here so that I can play with this. It's already picked the colour blue for me which is brilliant because now when I play it all the blue is gone. If you don't like the fact that some parts are see-through you can play around with some of these things but I'm not really sure what they do to be 100% with you um, but yes so if I press play if it wants to so it looks like that basically now what you want to do is because you have blue so you're like how do I add another colour if you see here it says plugin chain you don't want to click that because it will remove this one if you want to click that one Again, press Sony, Sony Chroma Kia, press Add, OK, and another one will pop up. So you have blue here, and then 
a random other color. To change this color, cl like just simply click on uh, color. If I can speak, and you want to get rid of red this time. So if you click on here, and then there's a little tool, I don't know what you call that, but click red. And you've got the color you want to get rid of. I'm going to put that on again. You can blur it if you want. That looks pretty cool, but no thanks. Um, so simply, it'll look like this. Obviously, I didn't want that part like that, but what are you going to do? Obviously, play around it with more, but I can't be bothered. This is just a quick tutorial. It's not how to make an edit. Again, just keep on adding them. If you're impatient like me, just add as many as you want. Press OK, and you can have loads. If you want to get rid of a type of colour and it's just an average green, you can simply click the present colour and it will give you pure green screen, so it'll be like, you can get rid of that one. Or you can just have green screen, which literally, I don't think there's a difference. Um, pure blue, same. Pure red, so you didn't have to find the red. Or say it's like a purple colour, simply just play around with them and find a colour that's similar. Or click the eyedrop little thingy colour. And yes, that should work. You can then just press X and it'll keep like this. And yeah, that's basically it. And you have a simple video. I hope this made sense, guys. Um, It's very confusing to explain, in my opinion, all this. Especially because I'm really new to it. I have no idea what I'm doing with this website or software even what it's called. But I thought that was um, quite good that I figured that out. I was proud of myself. But yes, if you have any questions, simply just message me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. All the links are below. Um, that's how I found out how to do this because someone wanted my help and I was very grateful from them asking me because I'm like, I'm not a professional, but I'll help you. <laughs> and I did. And they're really happy, but I told them I'll make a YouTube video just in case they were confused of anything I said. So yes, um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thank you for watching. And please have a good day. Love you lots. Bye, guys. I don't know why I said that's very cheesy, but yeah, I do. <laughs>